welcome to this class that is focused on building strength to move into Virabhadrasana 3, Warrior 3, with greater ease. We're going to start in Virasana, hero's position. And in your hero's pose here, just maintain an upright spine and let your shoulders relax. We'll begin by connecting with the breath. So take a deep inhale first through the nose. And a long exhale out your mouth. And then close the mouth and let the tongue just rest gently in your mouth. Notice the rise and the fall of your breath in your body. Listen for the sound of your breath. Let the muscles of the face soften. In particular, the muscles around the eyes. Notice if you're holding any tension in your jaw. Loosen your jaw. Again, allow the tongue to just rest naturally in your mouth. Notice how when you inhale, the upper body feels light. And as you exhale, the lower body feels grounded and steady. Continue this way for two more deep and even breaths, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Bringing your hands together at your heart center. Taking a moment to bow your head to your heart and honoring yourself, allowing your practice to unfold as we move through these asana exactly as is right for your body right now. Now bring your arms behind you, fold at the hip crease, start to extend back with your fingers and let your forehead relax down. Let your shoulders just melt. You will feel a nice grounded quality, a release of the low back. And then draw your fingers a little further back. Bring your hands together, interlace your fingers, bring your shoulder blades towards each other, reach your wrist back, and then draw your arms up away from your low back. Now keep reaching your wrists upwards. Try to imagine you're drawing your knuckles up towards your ceiling and then keep bringing your arms away from your low back. Continue to do this, drawing up and bring the arms a little further. And then slowly bring yourself up. Now, once you bring yourself up, come onto your hands and knees. And once on your hands and knees, moving through six cat cows. So drawing your chin in towards your chest, rounding your back. Just look between the legs, make sure that the heels aren't rolling in towards each other. And then draw your heart forward and through your arms. And moving with the breath, allowing this to feel like a moving meditation. Eyes can be open or closed, feeling that extension and flexion in the spine, pressing the heels of the hands down as you bring your chin in just a little closer towards your chest and release. Listen for the sound of your breath. If there's additional movement that feels nice in your body, and move in whatever way is intuitive for you. And then come back to a neutral position. Keep your toes tucked. If your toes aren't tucked, tuck them. And then allow your torso to come towards your thighs, keeping a bend in your knees. 
and then start to draw your sit bones upwards. Now bring your shoulder blades towards each other down your back and start to bring your heels towards the floor and straightening the legs if that feels comfortable and available to you. Now come back down onto your knees and draw your left arm out and bring your right leg back. Now draw the navel in towards the spine, bring your gaze forward, extend forward with your fingers, push out through the heel. Just try to make sure that your leg is only at the height of your hip and then bring your hand down, bring your knee down, same thing other side. Extending the arm out, pushing out through the heel, draw the navel in towards the spine, keep pushing out, keep reaching, keep your knee and your hip in one line, and then bring your hand down, bring your knee down, walk your hands towards your knees, come onto the soles of your feet and into your Uttanasana forward fold. So if your hamstrings are tight, keep a bend in your knees. You can always take opposite hand to opposite elbow and sway from side to side. Or you can draw your arms behind your legs and just use this to guide yourself a little closer in. Keep drawing the sit bones upwards. Let the crown of the head point down towards the floor. On your next breath, release. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Hands can be at your shins or you can always have your hands at your thighs. And then bend your knees and reach your arms up, coming into your chair pose. So keep drawing your weight back to your heels as you extend up through your fingers. Bring your shoulder blades down your back. Look at your knees, make sure that your knees are in line so that they're hip width distance. And then start to now draw your fingers back. And then inhale, sweep your arms back up. Try to keep your legs really strong here. Drawing back and reaching up. Two more. Last one. This time, press into your feet, lift your heart, open your chest. Bring your hands together at your heart center. Bring your hands down and walk your hands forward and walk your feet back, coming back into a downward facing dog. You draw now your right leg up. Try to keep your hips square here. Point your toes. Okay, bring your leg down three more times. Bring your leg up. Try to again keep the hips square. Point your toes. Bring your leg up. Again, have your foot flex initially as you bring your leg up, keeping the hips square. Point your toes. Bring your leg back down. Last one. Point your toes. Keep again the hips square. Draw now your knee in towards your chest. Right foot to right hand. Keep the left hand down. You can be on your finger pads or in your palm. Reach up through your fingers. Keep drawing your right hip crease back. Bring your arm down, sweep your arms up, coming into your high lunge. Bend your knee, press out through the heel. Bend your knee, press out through your heel. Bend your knee, press out through your heel. Bend your knee, press out through your heel. Bring your hands down, draw your hip crease back and fold it. Bend into your knee, pivot your heel down, guide yourself up. Now draw your arms up and then exhale, sit back into it. And draw your arms up. Exhale, sit back into it. And two more times. Inhale, draw up. Exhale, bend your knee. Inhale, draw up. Exhale, bend your knee. Good. Bring now your toes, reach your arms down. And in order to come into a plank from this position, lift up. So you can bring your foot back. And here you are in your plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Know that you can always come into Bhujangasana and back into child's pose before coming into your downward facing dog if you prefer. 
breathing in. Okay, let's draw now the left leg up. Reach, reach, reach. Point your toes, keep your hips square. Bring your foot down again. Bring your leg up, point your toes, keep your hips square. Bring your leg down. Two more times. Keeping the hips square is key because we're wanting to start to have the hips square for our Virabhadrasana three. Once you come to your fourth one, you're gonna again draw the leg up, point the toes, bring the knee in towards the chest, step the left foot, reach the left arm up, keep pushing out through your back heel. Hey, draw your arm down, sweep your arms up, coming into your high lunge. From here, keep pushing out through the back heel, bring the knee down, push up, bring the knee down, push out, bring the knee down, push out. Last one, bring the knee down, push out. Bring your hands down, frame your foot, and start to fold in. Keep drawing back from the hip crease. Continue to lift up through the sit bones. Bend now your knee, pivot your heel, Virabhadrasana two. Keep the knee right over the ankle. Always feel free to modify, to move as you need to, to make little adjustments. And then inhale, draw your arms up. Exhale, sit into it. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, sit into it. Inhale, draw your arms up. Exhale, sit into it. Last one. Okay, from here, pivot onto your toes. Bring your hands down. Plank pose, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog and back to downward facing dog. Walk your hands towards your feet. Take your hands, bring them underneath your feet. Bring your weight forward, bring a little bend to the elbows. Keep drawing the sit bones up and fold in. Release. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Bend your knees, bring yourself all the way up to standing and hands together at your heart. Okay, draw your knee up to the height of your hip. Interlace your fingers, lift up, push out through the heel, point your toes, hands at your heart or hands at your hip. Exhale, release. Draw your knee up to the height of your hip. Interlace your fingers, bring your leg out, push out through the heel, point the toes, hands at your hips, hands at your heart, Exhale, release. Inhale, draw your arms up. Exhale, pull. Bring your hands down. Walk your hands forward back to your downward facing dog. Okay, now from here, draw your right leg up again. Drop your hip. So make sure that your hips are square. Draw now yourself forward into your plank. Bend your elbows. Release your toes. Back to your downward facing dog. Draw again your right leg up. Bring your knee in towards your chest. Right foot to right hand. Draw yourself up. Hands are now going to come together at your heart. You're going to draw your weight forward. As you draw your weight forward, lift your leg. Push out through the heel. You can keep your hands at your heart or extend your arms forward. Keep reaching, draw the shoulder blades down the back. Use your next breath. Bring yourself back to your high lunge. Guide your hands down. Come over onto the edge of your foot. Either walk your foot, be in a modified side plank, or reach out through your fingers. Breathing here. Come back to plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog and back to downward facing dog. Okay, left leg's gonna lift. Reach, reach up. 
Keep again the hips square, point the toes. Draw yourself forward. Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing dog. Back to your downward facing dog. Lifting again the leg up. Bring your knee in towards your chest. Guide yourself up into your high lunge. Keep pushing out through the back heel. Hands at your heart. Keep a little bend in your knee. Start to lift your leg. Push out through the heel. Drop the hip. Either remaining here or extending out through your fingers. Keep pushing out through the heel. Bend your knee. Bring yourself back to your high lunge. Bring your hands down. Again, either roll over onto the edge of your foot. Reach your arm up or side plank, reaching up. Bring your arm down. Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing dog. Back to your downward facing dog, breathing here. Take your right knee to your right wrist, left knee to your left. Draw your heels away from each other. Lift the sit bones up. You can be in this position. You can come down onto your forearms. Keep though your hips drawn up. You could be on your elbows or you can come all the way down. Bring your arms up overhead. Keep knitting your ribs in towards each other. Breathe it here. If your knees lift up away from the mat, just guide yourself a little further up. You'll go all the way down onto your back. Okay, on your next breath, slowly bring yourself up. Guide your knees in towards each other. Take your right arm, bring your leg back. Same thing, other side. Okay, and then cross your ankles, bring your hands behind you, feet on the mat, and down onto your back. Now, once you come onto your back, you take your right ankle, bring it below your knee, interlace your fingers. Draw your knee away from you as you bring your thigh a little closer towards you. And now cross your legs, take your right foot, bring it either by your ankle or wrap it around. And then just allowing now your knees to fall to the left, keeping the right shoulder rooted down and just feel this beautiful lift. So with the knees drawn in further away, the heart's drawing up. Come back to center, unravel, bring your knees in towards your chest. Same thing, other side, taking your ankle, guide your knee away from you, bring your thigh towards you. And then release, cross over. Now you're going to bring both of your knees over to the right. Keep your left shoulder rooted down. Keep feeling the knees move a little further away from you and breathe in here. And you come back to center, hug your knees in towards your chest. And you take your hands behind your legs, rock yourself up, come into your Baddha Konasana. And then bring yourself back up, bring your knees in towards you, come over onto your knees and back into Varasana. Bring your hands together at your heart center. Come on into your knee, bow your head to your heart, acknowledging your efforts, your dedication to yourself and your practice. And then take a deep inhale through your nose, and a long exhale out your neck. And now take your right hand over top of your left. Bring your thumbs to knees. Allow yourself to rest here. And if you have a little more time, then come down onto your back and into your shavasana, giving yourself that moment for integration and to simulate really all that you've done from this short and sweet practice of coming into your vajrasana. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste.